Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Today, we're going to talk about Super Cruise Assist, and exactly how do you use it? Love it or hate it, it's been in the game for quite some time now, and it can give the commander a little bit of quality of life. But how do you use it? Because the instructions are not particularly clear. And unless you know what you're doing, you don't know what you don't know. Let's take a look. Now one of the first things you're going to need, and it goes without saying, you need a Super Cruise Assist module. Now if you're buying a brand new spanking ship out of the dealership, it'll come fitted with a Super Cruise Assist module as standard. A lot of commanders who like that more tactile approach will prefer to remove that Super Cruise Assist module and put something in that Class 1 slot instead. I am one of those commanders, I have to say. Quality of life really doesn't do it for me. I like that tactile hands-on approach. But anyway, if you are and you want to take, you know, full advantage of this facility, you will need to have a Super Cruise Assist module. Now, fantastic, I hear you saying. Super Cruise Assist, I've got one. Brilliant. Well, how do I use it? Well, once you've got that Super Cruise Assist module fitted in your ship and you want to use it, you need to get yourself out into open space, which is where it works. Let's take a look. We're in the left-hand panel screen. We're looking at Jameson Memorial. We're going to move over to the second icon that says Super Cruise Assist. We're going to press that. Fair enough. It says align your ship with the destination. So we're going to move up and align it. And it says move your throttle then into the blue zone. Now I've changed my HUD, right? And for you commanders who have changed your HUD, you'll have the same questions that I had. What's the blue zone? And what it is, it is effectively the red part of a way you can see my red bar on my throttle. Go too fast, it'll say remove it into the blue zone. And then it'll say when you're in that sweet spot, super cruise active or super cruise assist is going to be active. And that's going to be good stuff. And then what you effectively do is sit back and wait. And the ship or the module Super Cruise Assist um, will in fact do all the work for you. Now, you have to have the Super Cruise Assist module fitted. If you don't, it's not going to work. Pretty much like the advanced docking computer, you can expect it to auto-launch if you haven't got a docking computer attached. I'm trying these things out because it's all new and shiny. Now, for you commanders who know what you're doing, then this video is obviously not for you. However, in the blurb, it says Super Cruise Assist. The Super Cruise Assist module allows the ship's computer to regulate the approach towards a set location within the current system and to disengage the drive at the appropriate time. This module can also be used to enter orbit around a planetary body. Planet side targets are excluded. Instead, they will engage the planetary orbit function of the computer and commanders will need to manually guide the ship to the ground destination. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. No mention of this in the all new pilot's handbook though. Has to be said, perhaps an omission there, or I didn't see it anyway, even if it was there. Anyway, not to worry. So as you can see, we're on our way to Jameson now. Um, Jameson Memorial in the Founders system. And we're heading on in there. No dramas. The ship is regulating its power. It's really good for YouTube and I think content creators as well because it gives you, while well, all this stuff is going on, used to use that external camera and get on with things. And, and even if you're not a content creator and you want to have a look at the beauty of the game of Elite Dangerous, then it gives you that little bit of opportunity. So here it is, you know, we're, we're headed in. Everything is good so far. And we're about to drop out now. As you can see, we're near. I'm not doing anything. I just changed the cockpit view. And there it is. It dropped out. Speed has gone right the way down to the bottom. And there I am. I am at Jameson Memorial. And all I did was basically set it to the, the blue zone or the midpoint of my throttle. And away I went. So it's a little bit different when dealing with planetary targets, as it mentions. It's going to put us into orbit. So we're going to go to like Jameson base of um, Laurie Jameson, the engineer. So what we're going to do, we're going to hit Shinrata Desra A2. Right, you could select that, or you could select Jameson Base, hit Super Cruise Assist again. Then what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna throttle up to engage frame shift. But first off, I generally tend to point myself in the right direction. That's what we're gonna do. And then 
that's it. We're going to throttle up. Bit of a boost. That'll get us cracking. We'll enter super cruise mode, as you would normally do. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the left hand panel. Select Jameson Base. Enter Super Cruise Assist mode. Move the throttle up. And that's it. Super Cruise Assist is active. And then you're either a brave person and you go away, make a cup of tea, hope no one pulls you out of Super Cruise, uh, interdicts you, and then shoots you and steals all your toys. Or you sit here with one eye on it and one eye doing something else. Either way, you know, it doesn't derive from the fact there's still an awful lot of time to be spent. So here we are on approach now. Uh, Super Cruise Assist is still active. We're coming down to it. 53 seconds. You know, in the 40s now, you can see it's moderating the throttle uh, on the lower right hand side. Everything's great. I've just generally pointed it in the right direction and away it's going. Now with seven seconds in we should start to see to decrease the throttle. Here we go. Throttle starting to decrease. Speed is slowing down now as we're approaching the planet. So even though we've got the base in view, should we say, or we're, look, we're looking directly at that base, it's going to put us in orbit. Now what it won't do is if the base or the land item that you're looking at or the land location you're looking at is on the other side of the planet it's just going to drop you straight in and then it's up to you to fly around and guide it into wherever you need to go whether that be on the other side of the planet or what obviously if it's look you're looking directly at it then you're going to be lined up and you're going to be pretty much good to go aren't you really so it's just putting itself into orbit and then once you're in orbit it's kind of up to you then what you do, whether you disengage, move, or you can just hands off the stick and let it do its thing and then sort your positioning out, you know, when you actually get there. So, Super Cruise Assist. Don't forget to have a Super Cruise Assist module fitted to your ship if you want to use this. Um, I can see benefits for this, I really can, um, when, you know, you've got other things to do at the same time and you fancy a little bit of Elite Dangerous grinding. Um, however, for the seasoned commanders, I don't know if people are going to use it. I'm going to test it out, see how it goes. Anyway, I've been Ricardo. This has been a video on Super Cruise Assist. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.